Okay, I got my buddies, JCB Batco over here. <clears throat> uh, he bought this thing dirt cheap. Done a lot of work to it. He had to rebuild almost every cylinder on it. And he got them done and he was going to start using it. And he didn't run it 30 minutes and it started missing. Dead miss. So. So what we done. Coming here. On the injectors that cracked each line one at a time. And we come to find out number four is missing. Number four is not firing and we pretty much know it's the injector because when you break the line fuel squirts out the line and it's kind of like saying when you pull a spark plug off a of, uh, spark plugs off one at a time to find out which cylinder is missing when you crack that line it's going to squirt diesel out and it's going to miss so uh loosen that one up and miss that one well, it was already missing Back that one off, it missed more, that one missed more, that one missed more, that one didn't make no difference. So that's the one. And of course, I can't get it out. You see, probably see I tried vice grill, everything. So it made me a puller. And when I done that, I took, got a number, I got a nut that fits this. And in this case, it's an M12 by one and a half pitch, which is probably pretty common for most, a lot of injectors. And I welded me a, I cut off the end of a fine three and a half inch bolt, grade eight, and welded that bolt end to it. Screw that down on the injector all the way tight. Uh, I got me a piece of pipe, heavy wall pipe. And put over like that. Uh, some flat washers. And the half inch fine thread nut. Alright, here goes. I'm going to start tightening the nut up, see if that injector will pop out. Okay. I don't know if you see that, but it's coming out. It just ain't out yet. <laughs> Yep, there it is. Okay, crusty old injector tip. It's got a number on it, but I can't fix it. I can buy another tip, just put another tip on it. It should be good, but I'm going to fix this one. I'm going to try it anyway. That's what the problem is, that pin stuck in there. Oh, it's definitely stuck. Definitely stuck. Okay, new injector nozzle. <clears throat> so, if I wouldn't have broke that, if I could have got that tip out, I mean that needle out, and freed it up, I could have fixed this injector. It's got little tiny, bitty, little bitty tiny holes, but <clears throat> uh, if you're lucky, you can get like some, a piece of wire off a wire brush or a 
preferably a stainless steel wire brush. You could probably find a wire little enough to go in them holes and clean them out if they stopped up. Clamp it in a some uh, little vice grip or something, piece of wire and stick in them holes. But couldn't get the pin pin broke, so uh yeah. It would be 20 bucks for a new nozzle, but the problem is they had to wait a few days. But anyway, that's what that pin is supposed to come out like right there. So yeah, see that pin is supposed to come out, right out. See that? And that bevel on the end. What happens is when the injector pops, you got fuel pressure going through that little hole there down to that. And when that pressure builds up against that needle that's pushing against the spring here, when the pressure builds up enough, it'll pop and it, this needle will pop up and it'll allow fuel to go through them holes. And the way you can tell if the holes is open at the bottom, you squirt, penetrating all something in there, you watch it squirt out of the holes. And you count the holes with a magnifying glass or whatever to make sure they all open. And if not, you can get a fine piece of wire, like off a stainless steel wire brush or something. You had to get a little bit of fine piece of wire to stick up in that hole. You might have to put it on a clamp, a little bit of piece of wire with a pair of small vice grips or something, and a uh, job in there to try to get them holes unstopped. If 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 they stopped up, which is what I, I would have done this old one if I could have got that pin out, but the pin broke. So 20 bucks later, I got a new one. Yeah, there's a the spring. See, that's a real tough spring that pin has to mash against. Make sure that's unplugged. Yep. So this should be ready to go back in right there. No problem. Okay, in goes the injector. Got the crush washer on it. High pressure line going on. 